And we are back with more of Turtles for the Xbox. Last episode, we were doing the first three stages of this horrible area level place called Trap. Now we're doing the next part of it. Are you kidding me? Alright, so, um, we're back with this horrible level. Because it's terrible too. And again, what isn't terrible about this game, honestly? I probably just wasted all of those, actually. Oh, never mind, I hit one of those guys. Uh oh, my attack's up. Better watch out. It's like Raph just entered into rage mode. Now I get more attack and more speed. Ooh, so special. Yeah. More killing of these invisible jerks. If they would die. Die! Die already! Christ's sake! Health do you have? Yeah, bitch, survive that. Hey, it's a thing. I don't even know what that thing does. I'm sure somebody that will watch this will be like, oh, that does whatever. Like, great. It doesn't help me now. Ah, jerk. One of my random explosions actually hit somebody. It's not like I can tell where the hell these guys are gonna come from. How rude. Bashing me in the face with that. Yeah. Ow. Jerk. Knock that off. Oh, there they are. I thought they could cleverly disguise themselves like that. It almost worked, and that damn it, I'm dead again. This is pathetic. God damn it, Raph. Now is not the time to be hitting yourself like that. Could any of these boxes be useful? Instead of constantly being empty and useless to me, why don't they have something good? Like more shurikens or food. Like that. Ridiculous sometimes how this crap works. Ha! Ah, Tur- eh, Damn it! You and your stupid shurikens! These guys really annoy me with those shurikens. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Out of my way, Crap! Can you stop getting your ass kicked for five seconds and actually beat something up for a change? Alright, it's the staircase. But I probably don't get to go up uh, yet. Oh, never mind. I can go up the stairs now. Finish this level. We're getting great. Yeah, new high score, but I didn't get a faster time. Area 5, the top floor. Oh no! How about that? That? Let's see what kind of crap this level will offer. Feel that? Ha! Out of my way, Feel that? 
Oh boy. Look out for that swinging crane arm. It's obviously not gonna play a part in this level at all, but it's way over there by that bridge. I'm not even sure what could have been done to make this game better. Or more enjoyable for that matter. Though I do know there's a lot of things that could have not been done that they did do that make this game so bad. Like, actually using more voice acting, I guess, maybe? Like, these lines that recycle every time you do the same type of attack is really freaking stale after the third or fourth time you have to hear it. It is really irritating, and that's basically the entire game. Beating things up, doing the same three or four moves, and every time you do said moves, you have to listen to that or that or that or worst of all every single time Mike does a jump attack it's eat feet literally every time what made them think that was a good idea but yeah nothing wrong with having phrases for the characters to say when they attack something once in a while but not every single time! It just gets annoying that way. I can't even tell perspective-wise where those things are at, so it's hard to judge when I can go. The fun of 3D platforming. When you don't have any control of the camera. Are you serious? Is it trying to tell me that other enemies on the opposite side of this bridge that I was just forced to cross? That is ridiculous. I guess where the next enemies are. Back on the other side of the bridge again. Freaking ridiculous. This game does not make any sense. You stop jumping on my head. Yes, I am mad because he dodged my shuriken. Out of my way, Nimrod. Feel that? Feel that? How are you not dead yet? Come on. Yeah. Feel that? I don't think I didn't see you guys spawn there. Come on. Step your game up, foot ninjas. Just ridiculous. I can't let anybody to the foot these days. Well, because I really had any idea where the hell that stupid thing is. Just get totally raped by it, and don't even get the courtesy of a health item. That's cool game. As long as this is the end of the level, then it's okay, but come on, that almost killed me, and the final level of this stupid area is coming up. Against a really cheap boss. I damn it! I don't want to be on this level anymore. I don't want to fight more of these guys. They're annoying. They take a lot of hits. Good, it's over. Let's move on to the final part of part eight. Why was that one stage longer than all these others? What the hell? That one stage took like 10 minutes to beat, but the rest of them are like 4 minutes, 5 minutes. Hell, one was like 20 seconds. And now we got the boss fight. Why did it look like Rap was about to push Mikey off the platform? It's that turtle again! I didn't know turtles could be that stuff. Aren't they supposed to be more gentlemanly? More mild-mannered? 
That's true in general, but some, Six like Rathier, are far from gentlemen. Isn't it a bit strange that a turtle would fly through the sky and fire off missiles? You think you can get away? No chance! Why not? You can always count on him to jump to action in times like this. All right, let's go! I still love that your mouths don't move. Okay, what? How did I even miss him? Die, damn it. This boss fight's annoying, but there is one benefit. And it's the fact that everything just keeps constantly sliding back towards the edge of the stage, even though you can't fall off, so it's not even look like it matters. Jeez. I just now realized that evil turtle bot there is basically rap. And I don't think it's just because of the fact that I'm playing as him. But I'm not about to test that theory on here either, so... God damn it, rap. You have him on the ropes, rap. Just finish this. You have him, Raph. Oh, he switched to Donnie, so never mind. Ha! Shurikens! Honor saved, Leo! Mission accomplished! They can be no, your best friend. Not yet. What's left to do? <sighs> Nothing. Okay. That looked so bad. I'm of sorry. My specialty. Whoa, very impressive, Donnie. That Where'd had you learn to pilot a helicopter? clearly been From a flight photoshopped. We're having great luck with vehicles today. Are you sure you can get us safely back to the lair? You bet. But first, I've got a little delivery for us to make. That plane is clearly not from the show. At least, not in my estimation. I mean, that plane really looks like it was just CGI'd into the game by the game creators thinking, rather than Leo, actually using the straight. footage from the show for it. Man, I really wanted some parts from that imposter robot. What a waste. Uh, Don, how about you just stick to flying? Whoa! <laughs> sort of reinforces my thought that maybe on second thought, they didn't actually borrow all the clips from the show to use the game, because that obviously looked really fucking terrible for cutscene animation. Because it clearly was not fully from the show. And a little bonus here. Bonus content. Dojo stage progress. I'm going to put that in this episode too. Because I'm not going to do it in the next episode. Screw that. Raphael, you know you do. You know you tend to. What the hell is this grammar? You know you t are tend to be excited. Too much sometimes. What are you, Yoda? Come on, Splinter. You cannot maintain the power if you use your power without managing it. Today's mission is to cope with 50 opponents, and you have nothing but yourself to help you in fighting. Be aware, you would not complete this mission without managing your power. Okay. Cool. Pretty much just beat up all these enemies. That's about it. Where are they? He's right there! Johnny! Out of my way, Nimrod! Yeah! How about that? Oh boy, this is gonna be annoying if I don't have any radar to tell where the enemies are. Where are they next? You're a ninja too, Leo. I have a question for this mission. 
I really have to wonder, why are there foot ninjas inside the lair? I understand letting Casey and April in to watch, and Splinter supervising, and all that, but come on, why are there foot ninjas in the lair? And everyone just standing around like, eh, that, that's normal, it's pretty standard, we're used to that. But no! No! You don't have foot ninjas in your base! Come on. It's ridiculous. This is kind of annoying, actually. It's nothing more than an endurance run. To kill 30, 50 enemies without dying. Woo, woo, so hard. Given you can beat most levels with 50 enemies dead without dying. Shurikens or not. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about, Leo? Are you talking about me or them? Because we're all ninjas here. How could it have gone better? I killed two of them. Are you expecting me to kill three of them in one shot? Or four? For what? Letting these foot ninjas in the base? Even though that's probably his fault, because he's the one that said, Hey, train yourself by beating up these foot ninjas? What is the story behind this? This kind of reminds me of Sleeping Dogs, where when you go to learn a new move from your master, you beat up the students, and they just keep getting up. And just keep letting you punish them when you do the training. Like, why would you even sign up for something like that? Because that's what this pretty much is. Hey, go let the turtles beat the shit out of you for a while. So he could get trained to be stronger to beat us up better later. Anyway, that's over with. So ends this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it more than I did, playing this game. Well done, my son. You defeated so many opponents at once. I was really impressed. Don't be conceited. No, I don't want to try again. No. We're done. It's over. That's the end of this episode.